What's up team? Today we're talking triangle similarity criteria. Previously we've talked triangle congruence criteria. Check that video out at the beginning of this doesn't make sense. So triangle congruence criteria, this is review. We know that four of these work and two of them don't. So side 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 works. You can show that two triangles are definitely congruent. Side angle side, that works. Angle side angle, that works. Angle angle side, that works. We've talked about how angle 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 does not work. That you can have angle 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 uh, congruence criteria, criteria anyway, and uh, show that the two triangles are not necessarily congruent. There's plenty of counterexamples to that. So that's a no-go for congruence. Similarly, we talked angle side side. That one also doesn't work. When you see ass, it doesn't work. Um, so today we're going to talk about similarity criteria. It's, it's used similarly, but it, it's different. So the triangle similarity criteria that work are side side side, side angle side. That stuff we're familiar with, it, with a twist with a slight twist, we'll discuss that in a moment. But also there's this angle angle, and I put a question mark next to it because we're gonna, that, that one's a little bit funky, a little bit weird, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so let's look at these two triangles, ABC and DES. Our task is to show or to figure out whether or not they are congruent to one another. That's not true, whether they're similar to one another. As we discussed in just the previous video, if they're similar, one is really just a dilation of the other, uh, where the, the scale factor is, you know, whatever it is. We can figure out what it is, and all the corresponding sides are going to be multiplied by that particular scale factor. And there's these neat relationships that are developed. Um, for example, AB, AB is correlating in this case, or corresponding to DE, and that ratio is just 2 over 3. Okay, so um, we have a ratio of 2 thirds. Sweet. Let's check and see if that ratio holds all the way through. So BC, BC is corresponding to EF, and that ratio would be 3 over 4.5. And in this case, I know it's kind of funky, but 1.5 goes into 3 twice, 1.5 goes into 4.5 three times. They actually do have the same ratio. Uh, next, uh, we have F, or no, let's start at the top, AC over DF. And that ratio is going to end up being, th uh, nope, 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 4 over 6, 4 over 6. 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 6 three times. So all of these have the same ratio. So we'd say the three side lengths are proportional to one another. So this is how we would show side, side, side similarity um, with, with two triangles. So it's similar, it's kind of like what we did before. Before it was like, well, the sides, they, they have to match exactly. Here, they have to be proportional. So it is a little bit of an extra step, but we're, we're seeking something totally different. So because these are all two-thirds, uh, therefore, we can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF because of side, side, side. That, that's how we would use these, these things here. Okay, let's talk about this one over here. Triangle ABC, triangle DEF, same sort of thing. Are they similar? Let's figure it out. We're going to run through the same thing with the side lengths that we know. We know that AB uh, has a length of 8, and we know that it's corresponding to DE, which has a length of 16. Well, that, that's a ratio of 1 half. Cool. Now let's look at, uh, well, let's start with the small one again. BC has a length of 11, whereas EF has a length of 22. Well, that ratio is also 1 half. Cool. So we definitely have side side, but that's not side side side. So let's see if we can find our side angle side. Turns out we can, because in between our two sides, we have angle E. Up here between the two sides, we have our angle B, and it's given to us that they are congruent. We didn't have to show that. It was just given. So for this one, we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by side, angle, side. Okay, I'm going to erase this and throw uh, another example up here. Stay tuned. Okay, let's look at these two triangles. Triangle A, B, C, triangle D, E, F. Are they similar? Let's find out. We know these two angle measures. We have an 80 degree angle and a 50 degree angle. Notice over here the corresponding angles with 80 and 50. So those are congruent to one another. Sweet. Uh, if we were trying to show that these were congruent, we'd say, nope, no way, not enough information, and then be done with it. We're not trying to show congruence. We're trying to show similarity. Remember, similar figures are the exact same shape, but different sizes. Therefore, if we can show that all three angles are identical to one another, uh, then it, just, it, it must be that one is just a scaled up or version of the other or scaled down or, or dilated version of the other. So if we can show that all three angles are congruent, then we definitely have similar figures. Well, the triangle sum theorem says that these three angles must add up to 180 degrees. 
So if we have 80 plus 50, well, that's 100 and, uh, gosh, is that 130? Did I accidentally create an isosceles triangle that looks nothing like an isosceles triangle? Yes, I did. Whoops. Uh, just roll with me for now. So if this is 80, this is 50. If we subtract the 130 from 180, we end up with 50. Uh, and the same thing is true over here. So we can find that these are 50 degree angles. Um, again, I should have picked better numbers. These, these are obviously, should be isosceles and the pictures don't look like it. But the point still remains. Now, all of a sudden, we have triangle ABC, triangle DEF with three uh, corresponding and congruent angles. Therefore, these two triangles are similar to one another. They're the exact same shape, just different sizes. So we can definitely say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle D. E, F, and the criteria that we use based on the given information is really just angle angle. Because if you have two corresponding angles that are congruent, you can always find the third one using the triangle sum theorem, which is exactly what we did to get these ones here in blue. And so the reason why this is true is the angle angle triangle similarity criteria. Um, one last thing I want to discuss earlier when we did triangle congruence criteria, we had these angle side angle and angle angle side. Um, do those still work? I think that's a fair question to ask. The answer is yes, but you don't even need that much information. Notice in angle side angle, two of those are angles. So the side in the middle doesn't actually even matter. Um, similar with angle angle side, you really only need the two angles. If you have two angles that are corresponding and congruent, it, it's game over in terms of similarity. Again, congruence, that hasn't changed. All that's still the same. But with similarity, if you have two angles that are corresponding and congruent, Game over. You can just skip to angle angle. So that's kind of cool. So uh, are these true for similarity? Yeah, but they're overkill. They're just too much. Um, how about this one? Angle, angle, angle. Well, that one totally works as well. We just, we just showed that. Um, and then the question, of course, is what about angle side side? Does S finally work for similar uh, triangles? Um, unfortunately, the answer is no. That one still doesn't work. So if you, uh, you're trying to show that two triangles are congruent and you end up with angle side side, it still doesn't work. So there's, uh, there's that for you. Okay, let's dive into some practice problems. Let me know if you have questions. You got this.